you know, um, name it and claim it kind of stuff. And it was called, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. And so consequently, some things settled in my mind that don't go along with God's word at all. Hmm. Amen. Amen. So I want to teach on that tonight. And then I, I still want to do the mechanics. I didn't forget the board, but man, it's just... <sighs> Remember last week I talked about how you have to fill, we walk around leaking, yes. Yes. and we have to fill those holes, yeah, right. and the thing to fill the holes is God's word, right. and if you don't have God's word in your life, you can't fill the holes, y'all remember that? Right. Well, as I continue to grow and stretch, the places that I have patched, they begin to leak. Because mm. I'm stretching from around that patch, mm. so and I have to add more to it in order to fill the leak. See, my leaks come where I have to challenge myself. Right. I've had more money come in at one time when I was working and, and doing some other business and things like that. So, you know, 16000 ain't a lot of money. But when you can believe for 24 hours, mm -hmm. now I'm here to, I want you to say, I, look, I don't care what nobody say. Yeah. You know, that, that ain't 16 cents. Right, amen. That is money. Yeah. It's money. But you got to know the mechanics. Everybody okay with that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Let's pray. Let's, you got to relax? Yeah. Uh, one, other, one more thing. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, that's the connection with that 24. Then. That seemed to be the little thing about the body. I didn't know. Like, before I got out of it, downloaded that information from the pastor to me. When I worked out. Boom. Everybody say, send the word. Send the word. That, 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 that's really encouraging. Say, send the word. Send the word. <laughs> Man, you, yeah, that don't, that don't convince me. Say, send the word. Send, send the, word. the word. That's better. Amen. Uh, Brother Ronnie, open us up in prayer, and let's get started with this thing this evening.
glorify you and we want to learn uh, your word tonight, Father, so that uh, you may be pleased uh, with you and that you will give us wisdom and knowledge into our mind and so that we have uh, the mind of Christ. And Father, I say to you, uh, bless each and every uh, member of this world. Uh, Amen. 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 Thank you so much. My name is Pastor Eaton, founding pastor of Missions of Men. Thank you so much for taking your time to spend your time here with us as we encamp around God's word together. Listen, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're dealing with. But all I can say is that my assignment in the body of Christ is to teach. I teach men like yourself and I how to change our patterns of thinking to be successful by using God's word. Listen. Welcome being here with us. Let's get right into the word this evening. I've got something to share. Everybody turn the Bibles to Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. This is my thread. This is my scripture where I launch from. This is the scripture that God gave to me for this ministry of missions to men. It is such a privilege and a pleasure and an honor. First off to see everybody that's here this evening. You brothers don't know that I pray for you daily. Man. And what you don't know is some of the hits I have to take out to praying for you. So, so you know, I ain't going to stop praying for you. Yeah. Man, you. I'm going to keep praying for you. Amen. Now, you got to lift the brother up, too, because, see, uh, a brother needs to help, too. Yes, indeed. Uh, you have to understand that. And so, so I appreciate everybody for being here this evening. Now, as I get started this evening, listen to me very carefully. Everybody say, Pastor. Pastor. We know, we know that, you that you get on the edge. And we know, we know that you love the Lord. You love the Lord. But, but we have to keep it real. We have, we have to keep it real. So we got to keep it 100. We got to keep it 100. Else we're wasting our time. Wasting our time. All right, let us say, Dan. Dan. It's in my mind. It's in my mind. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. And get us that guy. I got it. Yeah. yeah, that's where it's at. Right there. Right there. Right there. In, in your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And see, if indeed your consciousness is on another scale than where we are right now, you won't understand that I'm talking about the blockages as a dam in your mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or say, damn, damn, in my mind. In my mind. Yeah, I understand. See, see, understand. See, see, based off how you think and where that, where your paradigms located, you'll listen to certain things and go somewhere in your head that God ain't taking you. Hey, amen. amen. That's far. No, no, no. God say you can have a car. You talk yourself out of it. Mm -hmm. Or say, damn, damn, in my mind. In my yeah, that's mind. where it's at. That's. Where it's at. That's, say that's the problem. That's the problem. Say in my mind. In my mind. So let's go to Philippians chapter two verse five. You gotta say I got it. I yeah. got it. It says, "Let this what mind. be in who, you. which is also in who else, Christ Jesus. In who else, Christ Jesus. Very good. Now listen now, because this scripture is written by a man who really never met God at all. Never met Jesus rather. This man never met Jesus at all. So he's really writing just like you and I based off how we live. Hmm. He's writing based off how his experiences in life is causing him to live in line with God's word. Hey. He, he'd be just like us. Amen. But he's writing scriptures that we are now learning some other things about the spirit of God that we have to live today and apply to our lives. Yes. Earth say, damn. 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 In my mind. In my mind. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. See, see understand, the brother who wrote Philippians, he had some challenges too. Because he went to God a couple times about his. Right. Yeah. In fact, he went to God three times about it. Right. Yeah. And his problems weren't necessarily in the flesh. We do know that he possibly could have had cataracts. He could have even had epilepsy. We understand that from the scriptures. We, we get some of that stuff. We get that. But that would that that will not be his only problem. Mm -hmm. That boy has some problems in his mind. Amen. Okay. Yes, indeed. Yep. He has some problems right between his two ears. Yep. Just all like you and me. Yeah, yeah. All of how, how you think somebody can walk around killing folk and don't have some problems in your head? Yes, Lord. Are you kidding me? Right. No, understand. Yeah. If, if you are a child of God and you know that you're not supposed to sin. Now, the first time you sin, 
you have that grieving in your spirit, like, oh, I shouldn't have did that. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Amen. But you keep doing it. Hmm. You ain't got that notion in your spirit no more. Amen. Because there's something in your mind now. Right. That don't allow you to connect with your heart. Amen. Or say, damn. Damn. In my mind. In my mind. Yeah. So you see, that, that's where we got to go to today. <laughs> yeah, that's the stuff stuck in our heads. Yes, sir. That doesn't. That does not allow the spirit of God to ooh, ooh, flow freely. Yeah. Now watch this. If I say H two O, what do you think about? Water. 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 See, see, who's there? Have you ever seen hydrogen before? No. No. What about oxygen? No. No. So why do you say water? It's what? It's what? It's in my mind. Because somebody told you that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I'm just saying. Amen. Put it out there. No, no, I'm just saying. If you say H2O, automatically, even if you don't know chemistry, right. you think what? Right. <coughs> because it's already in your mind. mind. You ain't never seen hydrogen. You've never even seen oxygen. Right. But you still say it's water. Right. Amen. Or say, damn. Damn. In my mind. In my mind. Yeah, that's, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm saying, yeah, yeah. That's our problems. <laughs> see, see. <laughs> no, see, wait a minute. Or say, faith. 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 Is fluid. It's fluid. It's always moving. It's always it's moving. moving. It has motion. It, has it, motion. Motion. it never stops. It never stops. But, but but it needs, it needs a, place a place to run to. To run to. Amen. 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 <laughs> oh God. Amen. Oh, my, my, my. No, no, this, yeah, I got to stop for a minute because I got to get this right. I got to get this right. Now, this is how God talks to me. Amen. We can so consciously believe H2O and go, and go pay, we pay, we pay H2O bills. Yes, indeed. Amen. Amen. Yes, indeed. And you ain't never seen hydrogen and oxygen. Right. But we pay. But you pay. <laughs> every, say every month. Every month. Every month we pay an H2O bill. And then we upset it, they cut it off. Sure. Because the water is always fluid. Okay. It always has motion. Right. But it always needs a place to run to. I'm almost there. I'm almost there now. I'm almost there. Almost there. Here we go. Now now I'm ready. Now I'm about ready. Now I'm about ready. Let's go to Isaiah 26, 3 first off. And then I'm going to fold this into another passage of scripture that I want to end up at. When you get to Isaiah's gospel chapter 26, verse 3, just say I got it. Got it. My, 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 my. Isaiah's gospel chapter number 26 and verse number 3. If you got it, say I got it. Isaiah's Gospel chapter 26 verse 3 now here we see right away where peace has to be established and if peace is not established here faith has no place to flow to because faith never flows into the environment of disturbance. There has to be peace first. Okay, let me Say that again, Always. Always. Period. Period. Else faith will not flow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Because there's no peace. Mm. So faith is the river and the sea would be the place it flows to. Now watch this, watch this. In this building, we have electricity, 
But in order for these lights to come on, you have to hit a switch. Right. And on the back side of that switch is a panel called circuit breakers. Right. And on the back of those circuit breakers is the source from outside. Amen. Juice. Say faith. 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 Is the source, is the source. Outside. outside. If a breaker ever trips where there's no peace, the electricity can't flow. Electricity cannot flow. Likewise with faith. If there's disturbance in your atmosphere, faith cannot flow. Amen. Because it's always looking for peace. Or say, damn. damn. In my mind. In my mind. Okay, here we go. Isaiah's gospel chapter number 26, verse number 3. It says, you will keep him in perfect peace who's what? Mine. Who's what? Mine. Is what? Stay. In other words, you got to keep the circuit break on. Amen. 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 Can't let it trip. Or else he can't keep you in peace. Right. Amen. No, say, I got to keep the circuit break on. I got to keep the circuit break on. I can't come, I can't be short circuit. I can't be short circuit. Because faith, faith will not flow. Will not flow. See, faith is always outside waiting to get in. But that's why it says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, else faith don't really have a way in. Right. Amen. Now I'm not teaching on faith. I'm gonna to get to the mind part, but I gotta set I gotta set this up. Yeah. Amen. I gotta set this up. Amen. Don't you understand for those of us as married? Faith in any exaggerated indifference never shows up while the indifference is exaggerated. Hmm. Ever say amen. amen? Yeah. Never. Only when there's peace mm. does what you believe for show up. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's why the word says be anxious for nothing. Mm. When you're anxious for nothing, the circuit work is getting hot. Ooh. About the trip. Amen. Everybody with me? Yeah. Okay, all right, okay. Don't, 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 don't be an uh-huh night on me. I was listening to a part two of one of my teachings, and every time I said something, in the background, I could hear everybody saying, hmm, hmm, hmm. Y'all need to go back and listen to it. I think it was um, uh, The Way Out Part Two. And every time I say something, you can hear, hmm, hmm, hmm. I said, that's a good one. I went back and listened to it about three times a day, and I kept hearing all of them, hmm, hmm. So anyway, ever say, Circuit breakers. Circuit breakers. In my mind. In my mind. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. To stay on. To stay on. Now I'm going to share something with you what trips your circuit breakers. Because here lies the challenge of what's already in our minds. And a lot of it has come from the church. The church has replaced our 30 amp circuit breakers that God gave us and put 10 amp circuit breakers in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand. If you in a house and you got a major appliance against the wall, it needs a 30 amp circuit breaker. 10 ain't going to work. Ain't work. <laughs> That's my point. The church took our 30 amp circuit breakers that God gave us when we were born and replace them with 10 amp circuit breakers. Right. So we walking around in the church popping, pop, 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 <laughs> and can't get nothing done. Amen. I was like, Pastor, <laughs> damn, damn. It's, in my mind. it's in my mind. I know. I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. <laughs> yeah. yeah now everybody going to get this when I put it down because, see, I, I had challenges too. I'm still not perfect, so I'm working on some things. Yeah. But I know how to keep my circuit breakers on. Amen. Now, sometimes they get real hot. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. But I refuse to let them pop anymore. Amen. Amen. No, I'm, I'm willing to go down in flames. Amen. Burn up. Mm. 
Because I'm going to keep my mind, say stayed. stayed. Keeping your mind stayed on him is like in the old days they put a copper penny in the, in the, in the, in the circuit breaker. Yeah. And so, so say stayed. Stayed. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's what it is. Right now. Like I said, you will keep him in perfect peace. The him is the whoever the him. The him will be generic. The him would have to be a child of God. Mm -hmm. The him would be generic. Mm -hmm. Meaning it could be him or her. Mm -hmm. But he, God, will keep him, whoever the him is, in perfect peace, right. whose mind is stayed on it. Amen. It's called the him is small case. The H is small case. Mm -hmm. So that has to be a child of God. Right. Yeah. You understand? No, that's not faith. No, 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 no. Faith is not going to keep you in perfect peace. God's going to keep you in perfect peace if you allow faith to flow. Mm -hmm. Now you see, now you with me? Yes. Oh, see, I'm not, I'm not teaching on faith, and I want to make sure you're clear with this. I don't, I, I don't teach on faith, per se, because I don't have that anointing or that gift. I teach by faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Everybody understand me? Understand. Okay, I want to make sure that's clear because I don't want you to walk out of here. Oh, Pastor Eden was talking about faith tonight. Oh, that, I ain't talking about faith, fool. Tur your circuit breaker trip. Your circuit breaker trip. Amen. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. Let's go back. <laughs> let's go back. Because, see, some people, Mr. Roy, you know, some people go out and say, well, what pastor talk about that? Oh, he was talking about faith. Oh, bless God. Oh, he was? Ain't faith. Faith is the substance of Yeah, fool. But still, he's got to flow. Amen. I'm talking about some mechanics here. Yes, Lord. Faith is the substance. So that means just like water has substance. What is the substance in water? H2O. H2O. But you can't see it. No. Amen. Faith has substance that you can't see either. Amen. I, I, now, should I use this, Lord? Now, I, you know I'll do it. <laughs> I will. Everybody, I don't. Somebody got a pen. Let me hold a pen real quick. Let me hold a pen. I want to show y'all something. I'm bringing my board. I'm about to diagram this because I got some stuff in my head. I know I got to get out now. I got to get it out. I got to get it out. Water is H2O. Mm -hmm. I'm going to now define the substance of faith. The substance of faith is S to the third power G. That's the substance of faith. This S is the third power of spirits, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And all one power is God. That's going to be the substance of faith. Now I just got this in my head. I see these kind of pictures like this. So S to the third power G is the substance of faith. That's three part spirit all being God. Amen. Amen. Now just this is kind of this is how God deal with me, folks. I, I don't apologize for it, but I'm, I ever say damn, damn in my mind. Damn. See, I've I I've got some some blockages that that have moved away from my head, and and I'm and by being all in, I can't turn back anymore. Mm hmm. So I can't allow the devil to make me flinch. Amen. Amen. But there's a part of your mind that you have satisfied that you're willing to flinch. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's a level in your head you're not really willing to go beyond because not only is not uncomfortable, it's the unknown. You don't understand the substance. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And because you don't understand the substance, you don't understand the recourse. Mm -hmm. And you've established in a part of your mind that it's okay to acquiesce. In